Welcome back to the Blue and Gold Report. We continue our interview with Danny Babona. Danny, opening day is 19 days away. Thinking about the starting rotation, has anyone locked down a spot, or are we keeping that under wraps? There is, I wish that I could keep something under wraps. <laughs> um, it's something Skip and I have been talking about a lot, and we have, you know, seven or eight guys competing for four spots, and a good problem to have. Right. I'm, not, I'm not disappointed about having that, but you know, this last week having getting rained out and everything else didn't really help us come to a decision. Um, I'm hoping that some guys jump off the page the next couple d this week and the and next week um, because we we literally do not know who's gonna start the first game, second game, third game. So uh, we have a pretty good idea with Thurman. I mean, with what he did last year. So. I mean, most people believe he's going to be our Friday guy. I hope he is. I hope that he keeps doing well and um, matures. Uh, but besides that, it's Cooper, Whitehouse, Brock, Morales, Mitch, Bergamo, um, plenty, it's anyone's. plenty of other guys. Yeah, it is really anybody. Surrey, it's anybody's game. Um, and they gotta they got to pitch like they want it these next two weeks. Let's talk about Thurman. Has he worked on anything that is going to surprise us this year, or is he, is he just better? Um, I think he's throwing the ball a little bit harder. I mean, I, I don't really – I wasn't too familiar with him and what his, he did really well and not so well. Mm -hmm. um, I'd see him around. I'd see him come here when I'd work out, and I'd see him throw a bullpen, stuff like that. Um, but I was never too – no, I didn't really know what I was getting. He's he's a special pitcher. I mean, he throws throws the ball pretty hard. He's I believe his fastball command's gotten a lot better. Um, Cause Skip was telling me that was something that he wanted me to work on him with. Um, his changeup's a good pitch still, and he's he's added a little slider okay. um, that he started throwing in the Cape this summer, where he was real successful with it. So we're hoping that that could be you know an out pitch or. A pitch where you know we're in a jam, he could throw that pitch and has the confidence in it to get the best hitters out. Now, I know pitchers are very, you know, they take a lot of pride in their velocity. You know, you'll see the bit the Strasburgs who are incredibly, you know, on the upper end of that scale. But what is realistically a good improvement for a pitcher velocity-wise? Is it a couple miles per hour? Is it four or five? Yeah, just a couple. I mean, it's it's hard to get more than that. Once you start getting more than that, people are going to start asking questions. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's he's throwing the ball well. We have we actually have a lot of guys who who can throw the ball relatively hard. I mean, harder than than what most people guys, think. Well, most harder than most of the guys that I played with. Okay. I mean, Bergman, Pettis, and I didn't throw the hardest. We had Necky. Mm -hmm. Necky threw pretty hard. Besides that, um, we're all pretty much mid to high eighties. That was it. Uh, talk to us about Whitehouse and Hooper. They were going to be key guys last year. Unfortunately, got hurt. They're back. Are they 100% ready to go? Yeah, yeah. Both of them have been throwing. Um, Hooper was on a throwing program throughout the fall just mm -hmm. to to play it safe. Um, he's he's back. He's throwing in games. He's ready to go. Uh, Whitehouse Whitehouse has been really good. We've uh, developed a little bit of a change up with him, and hopefully that that's a big pitch to keep hitters honest and keep them off the cutter. So. With pitchers and injuries, is is that something you have to monitor all the time, or is there a point where you can just say, he's fine, let him go? Um, Especially at this level, because you do want to protect them. If they have an opportunity to play at the bigs, you don't want to room them for bigs. But um, I'm just wondering if that's something that you that's on your mind as their coach, you know, the entire year. It's it's the. It's not the stuff that you're going to do once a guy gets hurt. Mm -hmm. It's the stuff that we're going to do before. So um, that they don't get hurt. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, I I learned, I didn't know much about that stuff when I was here. It's hard to, I mean, I would go in the training room, I'd do stuff, I'd do bands, I'd have the trainers work on me. But after getting hurt and going through that process, I learned a lot. Um and you know, after every bullpen you throw or every game you throw with the Cardinals, um, we'd have arm care, and it's written out what we do. And um, I sort of brought a lot of that here, okay. and um, we'll set up like based on what the guys throwing pro throwing schedule is going to be for the week. I'll set up. You're going to do this, that's this day, this that day, just so they don't have to 
think or worry or do worry that they're doing the wrong thing or the right thing. Um, so, so that's I, something that you kind of brought from the pros. Was that wasn't here? Well, you said you didn't experience any major injuries while you were here, but do you know off the top of your head if that type of program was in place before? Um, no, it wasn't. Definitely okay. wasn't. Um, I know that the the, the Jaeger guys came and taught the guys some stuff, and and I'm not telling them that this way that the Cardinals did was the right way and it's the only way. Right. I'm just giving them what I learned and saying you could take it if you want. Mm -hmm. you, if you don't want it, don't take it. But um, I think most guys do a pretty good job of it. So, okay, so. so it's well received and they're following the plan. I think so. Uh, let's get back to the roster. You mentioned some newcomers, um, Elliot Suri, Andrew Morales. What talk about those guys? Are they? Do you see them pitching this first year? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I think they're going to have to. I think that they're going to have some big roles. Um, do you right. see them mid relief, or do you see them, you know, situational, or um, you're not sure yet? I think that both of them could. Both of them are in the running to start. Um, wow. I think that. Morales, he's a, he's a junior college pitcher. He's uh, pretty polished. He's got very good off-speed pitches. He's uh, just getting him a little under control is the thing that we've been working on a lot, keeping his direction. Um, and when he does that, he's, he's lights out. So I'm just hoping that once the lights turn on, he could be the same guy. Um, Suri is, and I don't even know what how, how to to go up to him sometimes. He's very cerebral, I'd okay. say. Um, Which you're not. <laughs> exactly. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, and he's, you know, he's a lefty. He's mid-80s, three pitches for strikes. He's, he's a very polished pitcher coming out of high school um, with an advanced changeup. And he's not afraid of anybody. And that's, that's his biggest thing. He doesn't care. Um, sometimes that is the key though right yeah yeah it's 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 easy for guys I know I, I talked to him about it and I told him that my freshman year you know I, I was like that in the fall and I didn't care who Taylor Holiday was or Nate <laughs> Cipriano but then you know we go to Cal and it's oh shoot it's Cal it's I've watched their football team I've seen them my whole life and you kind of um, got swept up yeah so I'm trying to trying to tell him how good our team is and you know what our expectations for this team is and I, I think that he he gets it so I'm hoping he does. So do you see him possibly taking a Tuesday? I, I like him in that role a lot I do it's just hard to say with how deep we are I mean if this was any other year absolutely if he was here when I was here he would be the Tuesday guy as a freshman absolutely. Uh, we do have a pretty deep staff I think one of the deepest in a long time uh, who do you see in mid relief? <sighs> Um, well, I mean, I think we we're going to... We have the Litchfields and the... Yeah, I think we're going to... I mean, pr probably stick with Race in, in the closing role. Okay. Um, he proved himself last year. He's, you know, earned that earned that title. Um, but we have Litchfield, and we have all those guys who are for the, going for the starting roles that will throw in relief. Um, it's it's hard to say. How's, how's Phil doing? Phil's doing, he's doing well on the baseball field. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to do it, do as much as I can to help him out in the classroom and, you know, get him to, to understand that you got to take care of that stuff to be on the field. Right. So. You have to be a complete package at UCR, right? Yeah. Much. Uh, very quickly, we're running out of time, but the alumni weekend, unfortunately, it was rained out, but you, uh, the baseball team still hosted the reception, and we thank Steve Borowski for his generous contributions uh, for that. Uh, we saw guys from the 2002-04 year, the Savage years, Michael Kaler, Chris Clem, R.J. Brown, uh, John Horwitz, who you didn't play with, but I think you've seen come back every year, as well as Tad Davis from the 70s. Uh, what keeps the alumni coming back year after year? Um, you know, it, it, it's, I feel like we would have had a bigger turnout if we would have had the game, the game yes. which we could all blame Scott Leupold for. <laughs> um, but he... Uh, it, it the field was soaked. There was nothing we could really do about it, um, but it was it's fun. You know, it's a family atmosphere we have here. Um, I look at these guys that I played with like brothers, and even the guys before me. And I know that the guys. It's funny watching the freshmen every year at this thing because they're so awkward. But once they start to <laughs> to meet the guys and you know realize that they played with these guys, and now there's there's somebody here for them to to talk to. Um, it's cool seeing how how much they'll grow and and be 
realize how welcome they are by these guys. Um, I mean, that's how I felt my freshman year. I was like, where, who are all these guys? Where do they come from? And you got so. you kind of just stuck to the guys on the team and yeah. didn't really. Now, now do you reach out yeah. pretty regularly to, to even some of the alumni you don't know? Uh, yeah. You know, when you I see mean, them we, around? Yeah, well, if I see somebody, I'll definitely talk to them. And um, I think a lot of that's just, just them seeing how involved the alumni are and how much they do care about the program and general gen genuinely care about somebody that they don't even know yet and open them with open arms so cool. well danny we're excited 19 days away we open up with baylor february 15th three game series uh we look forward to seeing how the anteater pitching staff does this year and do your tutelage yeah uh, so am i <laughs> i want to wish you the best of luck anteater fans uh mark your calendars opening day at home be there and we will be right back to wrap up this edition of the Blue and Gold Report on KUCI 88.9.